Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of refactoring routes to make them shorter. So in one of the open source projects I saw these three lines. Get, patch, get, which lead to the same controller with the same prefix and roughly similar route name. And this is pretty hard to read because you don't even see the full name of the route. And for example, in my PHP Storm, I try to recreate that project and I don't even see the endings at all. And for example, if I also launch the sidebar with the tree, then it's totally not readable, even the method name. So it's a general practice for me personally to make the lines shorter horizontally to make it more readable vertically, because then the eyes can focus on just one feature, one view, instead of jumping left to right and trying to read and catch everything. So in this video, I will refactor that into a group with controller and prefix, including automated tests. And that last part of test is important. Imagine a scenario, you get a project like this and you need to work on that and your task is to perform a cleanup, maybe Laravel version upgrade or something like that, so improve the code quality for maintenance. So your idea is to introduce route group here, but then how do you make sure that those routes still work and you don't break anything because the project, for example, is not yours, or even if it's yours and you wrote that code a year ago, that doesn't count as yours anymore. Basically, your task is to not break anything. So before refactoring this, I would ensure that there are automated tests for each of those routes. So as I said, I've recreated that project with three routes. Those controller methods don't actually do anything. They just return the success status, but the same controller name and method names. And then I wrote automated tests. So PHP artisan make test job application routes test. And here's how it looks. We test each of the routes, so we create the records if necessary. So I created the model and the factory, and then route name, we get that, and we assert that the status is 200. In your case, it may be more complicated, the status may be not 200 necessarily, or for example, update is probably not 200, because after update, it needs to redirect somewhere, for example, or maybe return some JSON with the API. That's not the point. The point is to return the success status code. In this case, I simplified all of those to 200. So if those tests were not written before you take over the project, you should write them yourself. So your goal is before starting any refactoring of the code, you should launch artisan test and see three past tests or however many you have. So it should be green before you touch any of the code. If you're lucky, the tests are written before you and you should not do that step yourself. And now let's go to actually do the refactoring. And I will perform the refactoring step by step. So the first step is to remove the duplication of the controller because it's the same controller. And instead of those three, use route controller. Then you specify the controller name once. And then in each of those routes, you just call the URL and the method of that controller. So that already becomes shorter. And then we comment out that. And this is where our test help us. So we launch PHP Artisan test again. It's still green. And as a proof, for example, if you make some mistake like typo in a method name, relaunch the test again and it would show you your bug, your mistake. So this is how tests are helpful. The next step of refactoring, so we introduced route controller, but then these parts are also identical. Job application, job application, job application, and this is a prefix in the URL. So that's why, in addition to controller, we do route prefix. And here we already can make the chain in a vertical chain. So prefix, controller, group, and then whatever else will come here next. So that code already becomes more vertical and easier to read. So prefix, job application, and then you don't need to repeat that job application slash in every route because it's already here on top. And again, if we comment that out and relaunch our test suite, it is green, which means we haven't broken anything. Great. And then there's one more thing we can refactor into one more route group parameter. Have you noticed what that is? What is the repeating part? This job application route name. And that route name can be specified as route group name. Important part here, you need to use the dot here in the name. And then you can specify only the part that goes after the dot. So job application dot is extracted into name job application dot for all the routes inside of that group. Again, relaunching the test suite to make sure we haven't broken anything. Artisan test, all passed, all green, 
great. And this is in this example, the final code that I came up with. Maybe you have more suggestions, but see, it's already vertical. It fits on the screen without horizontal scrolling, even with those PHP storm automations like attributes, action, name, and all of that, which make the line longer. And you can easily visually read that it's one route group with these parameters for all of that group. One more thing I didn't like in that code, but I didn't change it. So it would be the same example in consistency. So in here we have application and then some action. In here we have action and then job application. You should choose one or the other just for the sake of consistency. A typical recommendation is usually ID and then action. So yeah, what do you think about this refactoring? Would you have done anything else? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want to find out more about automated testing, starting from the very simple examples like this one, one of my most popular courses on Laravel Daily.com is Laravel testing for beginners, including PEST and TDD in a few separate lessons. So I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.